Sigurd, shall we then, Eivor, to Norway and well beyond? To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! So strange. Sail out! Endless journeys. But it feels unfamiliar. A few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. This is Harold's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father is cool, the poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep. Always thinking of his betrayal. Horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Alrek starts. It thrives, in spite of our father, no doubt. Sure of this. I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. But maybe you will light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame into the birds. Randy said. Our father spends his days in the meat halls, and he's not over here. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the meat halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the meat halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. And come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate that gifts. Poor soaker, they sniff he never leaves. Without care. You so are chipper, oh, brother. Down. He just sits there, staring at... We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor. My Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? Interest you? You robbed me of my wealth when you left for England. I presume you would do it again. Not my idea. You left us with nothing when you pledged for King Harald. We took only what we deserved. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it... I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. There was nothing sensible about your betrayal. Sigurd should have been king. You robbed him of that. Who did I betray? A son who was never home? A selfish boy with no sense of leadership? 
an arrogant You strangle. lie! I have led numberless men into battle, and countless ships and raids across all the known world! You talk of kingship as if it were a matter of counting the notches on your axe. But to lead means so much more. I passed my crown to Harald because he was a man who understood the challenge put before him. Unlike you. You pathetic word! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? You should have told us of your plan to bend the knee to Harald. And spared me the shame of seeing my father debase himself like a gutted pig. You are right. I owed you the truth, and for that I am sorry. But I will not apologize for what I did. Then I have nothing left to say to you. My son, please! You've spoken your words, and Sigurd has heard them. What happened to my son? What turmoil did he see that took his arm and darkened his mood? He saw his father for what he truly was. A coward, who faced his enemies with more honesty than he did his family. I was a father to you, Eivor. I have no father. This sad business is finished. Good riddance. Now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose, to my destiny, to the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Abel. I th Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them. How present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know, you are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir. The branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Our passage. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This will deal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. 
We stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful few. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was a hard fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the secret I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way! Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To Paris on a lonely fjord! We'd be the shame of our clan! Ha! That we would! Yes, yes this feels familiar! Eivor! We will press on! The sting of ice on skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With a ship, where we have mead and food to warm us. No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods. They will not seek or find you. We must go to them. We would be poor company, with frozen bones and ice pellets for eyes. You need not fear the cold, Eivor. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. Ah, uh, it's as bitter cold as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady. It should not be far now. It must be near. I know the shape of these rocks. Yes, we are close. For the sake of frozen fingers. I hope so! There. A frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a clay where this leads. Ah, you will see soon enough. Too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! Make haste! My heart races. This is it. Gods. This door. Have you seen this before? The space above. The Sarkis stone sat there. I did not. Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nogvat uns membro trurvon di gvorde, uns solas vras gnogadide, unsum hukas reis derae gas saunsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come, gods. What is this place? Hoera she. Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. This vessel... Was it 
are crafted by dwarfs. It is finely made, that much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. In this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. There, the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here, all the roots of life run together. The skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. There. Do you feel that? The sacred energies? I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. Yes, it is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? What lies beyond all this? Where does this lead? Take your place at the center there, and you will see. What is this place? you would come. Welcome. Are you... Are you Valka's mother? Swala? You have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your, your arm has returned, and your vigor as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain, at long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so... beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The... To the field! Fight with us! Go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here.
place is incredible! Enough with those short flies! You and I must fight! The battle we never had! And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing! Spill the eternal blood, Valhalla! At last, I share the din of the ultimate battle with a true Trollers! Brother! Worry not, Ava. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. <laughs> the day is done. What just happened? Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. A new day. to the marrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And again, it will... <laughs> Father, is that you? The Harvey returns to lead us to victory. your horn. Join the battle cheer. Dearest Skald of war and verse, how do you like this frenzy so far? It is... it is quite something. Raise your horn, Eivor. What stops you? My father, Varin. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I've seen him. Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. Arm, I'll beat a man to death with it. Do you not tire of his injuries? Never. Uh, uh. 
Wait. Father? Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense! I brought you someone. Look! My Eivor! There you are! What a warrior you have made of yourself! I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle? You remember how we fought, side by side, with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united? We fought, father, but you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wished to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you and his clan. No. He... This is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla, the eternal golden field. Now come. Battle beckons! How is all this possible?
stay. I do not give you leave to go. Reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. You are the wolf kissed one who lingered at the edge of death yet fought back. You spilled the raven wine of battle. To paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still, you came to his aid. You have felled many great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly, buzzing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet, you question all. You question the very gods. Fight me. Do not diminish yourself. Your false hall is nothing but a dream. Nothing but a dream. A dream is as real as anything in this world. Do dreams not inspire? Do dreams not make us fearful? Do they not push them to their greatest glories? Then I am done with dreaming. Come back!
Take up your axe. Wield like a true warrior. Take up your axe! Good. Are you? Are you with me? Sigurd! Ah! The Hanged One awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Eivor! Be careful! Vasim? What is this? Come closer, Eivor. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Vasim. For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth. That it was you. It was you I wanted all along. Did you track us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist. You broke all my hopes. He's mad, Eivor. Silence him! Come, Eivor. Come save your crippled prince of dead races. Ah! Are you hurt? It is nothing. Oh, kill that background. You must suffer. A thousand times what I suffered. What is this about? My son, Eivor. This is about my son. You speak nonsense, Basil. We shared so much in England, fought and bled together. Dig, Eivor, into the wellspring of your memory. Speak your grievance! Show yourself! I do not wish to fight with you!
Show me your neck. Show me. <laughs> the kiss of a wolf takes my prize. Of course. Yeah. Prize. My son, the soul in vain. You spout nonsense like an alehouse drunk. more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Coward! Face me! Fight me here! Be on your guard, Sigurd! <laughs> You die here! This brings me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. I am your prize, Basim. Come. You are indeed.
this thing. Now's its fire. Seagull! Does he still live? He does. But in darkness. Hasn't been planning this treachery. I dare not guess. Gods, am I to be hounded by a parade of love-minded traitors the whole of my life? There is no end to this. You have something you want to say? Then say it. I... Uh, I need some time to breathe. Let me sit a moment. The man's anger, his rage. It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd. Without sense or reason. Paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever. You always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It is a long journey and I am... not well. Home. Eivor. On our journey here, I had much time to think. On the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? Randvi told me of your bravery, your courage, your wisdom. In my absence, you were a pillar of stone. She admires you. And I her. But that cannot be the only reason. When Dar called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor, in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. I recall our days in Oxenefortshire, our search for the Sacker Stone. You disagreed with my orders, but you followed them. You questioned my methods, my aims, but you did not disobey. And when I passed judgment on Holger, you let my sentence lie. Though I knew you disagreed, the look on your face said all. In all my days away, in my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom and strength and leadership. Where you go, Eivor, I will follow. Our clan is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I... I won't let you down. You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refused to believe it. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England, of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... Like wrestling the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. A tale for the ages.